uh, two for five, and he'll sign it. <laughs> oh! He's opened up for Willie Nelson. Yes. And uh, Cheech from Cheech and Chong. Yes. Yeah. Cheech and Chong. Both of them. Both. Oh, oh both shit! There. You guys both. Cheech Who's that back there? And Chong. All right, you guys, give it up for Jeffrey Peterson. Yeah. yeah. Body count. Yeah. There used to be a stage here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I did Shakespeare on this stage last time, and now it's gone. <laughs> sell it to the Smithsonian. Keep it going for uh, Doughboy, you guys. Yeah, Doughboy! That's yeah, my homie. Vegas Invasion! And Burger. Wasn't he delicious? Yeah. Love hanging out with Burger. He gives me the munchies whenever I hang out with him. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? How you doing? I didn't need like my buddy Pete's over here being all silent. And stuff. <laughs> he do he doesn't he doesn't let you know he's in the room <laughs> like these people do. They let you know. He's in the room. <laughs> and by that I mean they come up with pot and they get you hyped. Um, <laughs> so yeah, well, and Josh Nasser, give it up for Josh. Josh. <laughs> Who knew he smoked pot? He, we never got high together. I've known him for about like seven eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, if you can hear me somewhere out there, next time bring some weed and then we'll hang out. Uh, and then, of course, my buddy John DeResta. Oh! He and I are the biggest uh, Ronnie James Dio fans in the world, so he and I and Fraser Smith were the three biggest uh, Dio fans. So, how we guys do? How we doing tonight, everybody? Yeah! How are you guys doing? Hi. Good. I just arrived by Greyhound. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just got off the bus. Yep. Uh, 36 hours. Yep, that what? was yep, that was just through Barstow. What? This rain is bad. <laughs> now, have you ever had to take the Greyhound? Because I have to travel a lot for, for comedy. Uh, they need to change that slogan on Greyhound from uh, Go Greyhound to Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> yeah. that, might, that might be a little helpful because it really sucks riding the Greyhound. I was, uh, I was riding on the Greyhound and... Uh, this was this was a true experience that happened on the Greyhound. We we're driving from uh, Las Vegas to Denver, Colorado. We get in the middle of, I believe it's Provo, Utah, just like the middle of nowhere. Pitch black. It's snowing, and the next thing I hear is, "I'm gonna need a cell phone." Does someone on the bus have a cell phone? Oh no. Preferably one with a GPS. Oh no. Because we're lost. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. This really messed me up because uh, my whole perception of women, I thought women were the ones that taught us to pull over and ask for fucking directions. What happened there? Yeah. That was yeah. some messed up shit. Yeah. So, by round of silence, who's stoned? Yeah! Good. Good, not stoned not enough. <laughs> so uh, obviously uh, we're in the end times. Look, it's the beginning of the the uh, the plagues right blood. now. Rain number one. This is this torturous rain. This is all because of Trump. Blame yourselves. <laughs> Blame yourselves, motherfuckers. Wow. You know they didn't let Donald Trump finish. You know they cut him off a lot when he speaks. It's weird. Because he's a, you know, he's a soundbite president, so he doesn't always get to finish what he was saying. You know, when he said that he wanted to build a wall between our country and Mexico, they didn't let him finish. What he was trying to say is he wanted to build a Walmart between our country and Mexico. That would have been great, right? Why should the savings all be south of the border? Let's, you know, keep them at the border. That would be neat. Yeah, Donald Trump, I mean... Um, Hillary, Hillary could have been a good president, you guys. You guys kind of blew it. I'm talking about you people who vote. I didn't vote, so. <laughs> fuck no. We love you, Gary Joel. Satan or the devil, I'll say fuck you. <laughs> I don't think so. No, but Hillary could have been a good president because uh, I think Bill Clinton would have made a great first lady. <laughs> yeah, that's one sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Donald Trump is our president and uh, you know, I was hoping that on Obama's way out, he would have left on a high note. I was really hoping he would have left on a high note. And by that, I was hoping he would have said, before he left, one final thing. 
it's been a wonderful ride being your president. Uh, Michelle and I have uh, really appreciate the love given to us. We've accomplished many things. But before I leave this office, there's one more thing I have to do. And that is legalize marijuana across the board. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, you want to pass me that big fatty blunt? Yeah! Because we're going to get jiggy with it. <laughs> Wouldn't, that yes. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, and uh, from now on, you can just call me Barry. Oh, my God. You know, that would have been hot. Yeah. But we're stuck with Donald Trump. You know, I live in Las Vegas, so I got to wake up and see, like, our president's name on a fucking casino, like, fucking <laughs> hotel. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> Very surreal. And, uh, um, I mean, we're living in the twilight zone right now. I don't know if you guys... Have, look, there's some evidence that we that things have gone awry, okay? First of all, our president is a former reality TV star. Lady Gaga is singing for Metallica. <laughs> Saturday Night Live is funny again. We're in the twilight zone. Something has gone wrong here. <laughs> Glad Donald Trump is president for my personal reasons because he's the one guy that was running for president that I can do a solid impression of. <laughs> Everybody in this room can do a Donald Trump impression if you want. You guys want to learn how to do a Donald Trump impression? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! In order to do a Donald Trump impression, you just simply have to make your mouth a butthole. Let's show you gotta do. Make your mouth a butthole when you chuck. Keep your mouth in the butthole position. You enjoy it. <laughs> Don't deviate from the butthole position. Keep your mouth in that very round butthole position. <laughs> very happy at the results of the presidency. Look at my beautiful wife. <laughs> Actually, I'm very upset right now at ISIS. I'm very upset. I'm angry. You can't tell though. My mouth's a butthole. <laughs> Remains in the same position. <laughs> because I'm your new president, President Butthole. <laughs> president Butthole, you can call him that. You get arrested, but you can call him that. <laughs> not a good idea. Like, Weto running around, fuck the police! <laughs> right in front of the police. Yeah! Yeah. Willie meets Trump, fuck Trump! You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you have the right to remain dead, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I like to do impressions. I do uh, celebrity impressions in Las Vegas. Uh, do you guys like celebrity impressions? Yeah! Good, because that's a good portion of my act. So, <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. Uh, I, I gotta say, Blaze, I love this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already a short motherfucker, so you, made, <laughs> you just made a hobbit feel like a midget, it so I appreciate that. a little wet outside. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. <clears throat> I kid because I love. Uh, I'm shrinking here. Uh, yeah, I love to do celebrity impressions. And people ask me, like, you know, where do you get the inspiration for these, like, celebrity impressions? And they come from my real life experiences. For example, I can do an impression of Gary Vesey because I got into a motorcycle accident without wearing a helmet. That actually happened. I actually got into a motorcycle accident on the way to get a helmet, but that's <laughs> the <that's> truth. <laughs> what really happened? <laughs> I can do an impression of Ice T. That's right, because I grew up in Los Angeles in the motherfucking hood. <laughs> I know you killed that little girl. <laughs> I can do an impression of Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, I can do an impression of Ozzy Osbourne. Because I was in a fucking heavy metal band in the 80s, man. <laughs> Sharon! <laughs> now, I cannot do an impression of Christopher Walken, which is weird because that's the guy that most impressionists, like Dante, does an outstanding Christopher Walken, right? Those guys could do a Christopher Walken impression. I can't do a Christopher Walken impression, and I'll tell you why. Because I've never had a gold watch shoved up my ass for time. <laughs> Uh, the Pulp Fiction generation. Yeah. Ow, ow. No yeah, I like to uh, I like to do impressions. Um, before this one gets too old, uh, because we're only in February, so it's a it's a holiday one. Can I get away with doing a a, a Christmassy impression for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Here's Jason Statham with a little Christmas message for you guys. It was a night before Christmas. <laughs> and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, because I fucking killed him, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> The stockings were held by the chimney good care. Oh, In hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be there. But he won't, because he's dead. I fucking killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's an impression of Matthew McConaughey as my alarm clock. Okay? I'm a stoner. I don't like to wake up in the morning. <laughs> God bless you people that actually have jobs. <laughs> Unlike us, you know, layabout comedians. I need, for my stoner lifestyle, something to wake me up gently. That's why I have the new Matthew McConaughey alarm clock. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Rum tum tiger nuts. <laughs> Wakey baby. <laughs> it's a great fucking day. <laughs> The sun is high in the sky, and so am I. Hey, you gotta get out of bed, man. You're a fucking rock star. Hey, you ain't some ass clown in a green room, man. I want you to say it with me, man. You m -m make me happy. And the snooze alarm on that thing would be, just keep living. Thank you. Give it up for our lovely hostess. Wasn't she doing a great job, job you guys? Yeah! I'm going to have her. She's going to be at the High Times Cup with, with us next month in Las Vegas. As is Burger and, and Doughboy. Ow, ow! So uh, here's the thing. I um, am inspired by your, your t-shirt, uh, the, the dude. Yeah! Because um, I am a dudist priest. Yes, you are. I'm an achiever. And uh, do you, have you guys seen The Big Lebowski? Yes! My favorite movie, and oddly enough, Rolling Stone Magazine's number one stoner movie of all time. <laughs> yep. So, we love what if that down. movie, yeah, that, was, that movie was made by the Coen brothers, but what if it was directed by someone else, let's say Francis Ford Coppola, <laughs> who directed, you know, The Godfather. What if he directed the Big Lebowski, and instead of John Turturro playing Jesus Quintano, it's now Al Pacino. Here we go. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Are you ready to be fucked, man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I see you roll your way into the semis. <laughs> Dios mio, man. <laughs> Liam and me, we're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> that's still Jeff Bridges. Let me tell you something, Bendejo. <laughs> you try any of that crazy shit with us. <laughs> you flash a piece out on the lane. I'm going to pull it away from you. I'm gonna stick it up your ass <laughs> and pull the trigger <laughs> till it goes. Hoo ha! These folks are a lot of fun. <laughs> so here we are in 2017. Uh, uh, I'm getting ready for the summer. I'm already thinking about the summer. That's why I'm trimming down, losing some weight. I'm on this new fat diet called Poverty. Ah. Keeping the carbs really low. So, are, are, are you guys marijuana enthusiasts? I hope. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, I like to. I like to come up with uh, some cool ideas when I'm stoned. Uh, I've been thinking of some neat stuff lately. Uh, for one thing, um, I think uh, Schick Razors needs to make a unisex razor. Yep, yeah, and they're gonna call it Lady Metallica. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you know they got the crowdfunding thing going on, right? There's the Kickstarter and the GoFundMe. 
You know what I mean? But let's face it, you know, a lot of these young men out there are saving up enough money to get laid. Yes. That's why I'm going to start a new crowdfunding uh, called uh, Go Fuck Me. <laughs> single guys. <laughs> so many laid. Yep. Uh, I took the uh, the bus here, right? I took the, actually, I didn't, I'm lying. I got a ride here, but... Um, <laughs> There's a lot of, uh, have you guys ever had to take the bus? It sucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's getting, your options are getting weird out there because, huh. uh, for one thing, Uber is now Republican. Fuck this. Right? And Lyft is now liberal. They need to make uh, a new, like, ride share app. For people, you know, like us, like for people that have like a different kind of lifestyle. Yeah. Like stoners yeah. and hippies. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a new rideshare app called right Hitchhike. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need a fucking phone. Just stick your thumb out. <laughs> yeah. If you're a woman, stick your leg out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, normally I do. I don't have a car. Normally I ride the bus. And, uh, you know, uh, they say guys that have these monster trucks or these uh, sports cars and stuff like that it's to make up for some sexual inadequacy yeah like i said i ride the bus what does that say about me <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so yep uh came out here from las vegas you guys anybody go to las vegas yeah yeah they just legalized uh, marijuana there too yeah so uh, the buffet lines just got a little longer. I don't know. They did. Yeah, the buffet lines look crazy now. Now it looks like a Star Wars opening. <laughs> uh, it's pretty nuts. Um, the weather is all shitty right now out here. And it's, it's shitty in Las Vegas. And believe it or not, it does get cold in Las Vegas. Um, last week it was so cold in Las Vegas, I paid a hooker for a hug. <laughs> it was a bear hug. <laughs> His name was Kevin. He's a good guy. <laughs> summertime. Summertime it gets tough. Summertime it gets hot. Let me tell you, last summer it was so hot I paid a hooker to blow on me. <laughs> the breeze. Yep. It's the hooker combo. Um, really nutty things. Yeah, uh, now that they got marijuana legal here and in you know just the whole West Coast, it's nuts. I was in, in uh, Denver, Colorado for two years, and they uh, made a billion dollars in cannabis sales last year. Yeah, that was just to me. <laughs> I'm broke, but I'm very stoned. <laughs> it's nuts, too. Um, Las Vegas uh, has some crazy pickup lines. Never heard a pickup line like this anywhere in my uh, Los Angeles uh, travels. I was at a bus stop the other day. This 40-something tweaker chick is pushing her bicycle, and she stops, and she makes eye contact with just me, of all the people. She looks me right in the eye, and she says, well, look at you with all your teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I fucked her. Her name is Toothless. Save a ton of money on dentistry. <laughs> Weird stuff happened in Vegas, never happened here in Los Angeles. Could be 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't matter. There's a Mexican dude at my door ready to sell me a bootleg DVD. <laughs> yeah. uh, how he knew I wanted Captain America right then, I don't know, because I did. <laughs> but it's Vegas, it's a gamble. So I got that DVD of Pacific Rim. Huh. Got all excited, put it in my DVD player. Turned out to be Asian porn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, Let me tell you, those Asian dudes have little dicks, <laughs> and so do the chicks. Yes. <laughs> so was, that was the light I saw, right? That it's been eighteen. It's been eighteen. Okay, cool. So um, you guys having fun? Yeah. All right, I'll come around a couple of bends and before I uh, crescendo. But. Um, 
Wow, what else? Dio. What other awesome things that Ronnie James Dio. talk to you yeah. guys about? Dio. Ronnie, Ronnie James Dio. 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 You know what? You know what it's like, Blaze. This is a great room because I can like <laughs> sketch while I'm here. I can sketch comedy while I'm doing. I'm, I mean, I'm not doing a sketch comedy, but it's like doing a sketch. But uh, I got some exciting news. I met my girlfriend in Las Vegas, and yeah, uh, yeah. Woo, we love and, you. She recently became a grandmother. Yeah. Ow, Congratulations. Ow. Great news for me because it makes me a grandmother fucker. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I'll tell you what, um, it's tough. The, the relationships are tough. And the, the thing that's tough for me more than anything is the, uh, the cell phone. Yeah, right here. First of all, spell check can suck my duck. Mm. <laughs> But it's autocorrect that screws me up. Just the other day, I'm in an argument with my girlfriend, you know, trying to save our relationship through a text. <laughs> and autocorrect swoops in and messes me up. I chose the word baby, it chose bitch. That's not my oh. fault. <laughs> it's autocorrect. That's not my fault. Come on. Oh. I chose baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've broken up over the phone. <laughs> So I found out my girlfriend does some weird shit in the middle of the night. She's a she's a sleepwalker. Yeah, found out that she is a sleepwalker. Went online, did a little research, and discovered uh, that scientists say it's not safe to wake a sleepwalker. But they don't say anything about fucking them. Come on. That's my only way to cheat. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Or maybe it will if I do it right. Not it. So, um, let me think. There's some cool stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, before I go, and I want to like make sure I hit upon them. Um, for one thing, uh, you know, it's no wonder a lot of us are stoners. Those cartoons and stuff like that that they showed us. Uh, first of all, like, uh, were you guys fans of Scooby Doo? Yeah. I mean, look at that stuff. I mean, uh, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> That's no mystery. Uh, where are the mystery machine getting high again? Because Scooby and Shaggy had all the symptoms, right? They were paranoid. They were seeing hallucinations, and they constantly had the munchies. Yeah. Besides, it's not Scooby Doo. It's Scooby Dooby Doo. I was paying attention for you fuckers. <laughs> Who else but a stoner would come up with the word zoinks? <laughs> zoinks. You'll say that in the car and remember. I think a lot of our favorite cartoon characters who run drugs don't get me started with Speedy Gonzalez. Mm, yeah. That wasn't before your guys' time. You guys watched that. Yeah. Um, the fairy tales that they told us, those were messed up. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. <laughs> hey, that's two dudes too many. <laughs> who the fuck are these guys? Get out of my tub. Hey, baker, candlestick maker. Let's go. <laughs> I made myself the butcher in that. <laughs> How about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Anybody ever heard the term breaking and entering? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? There's a dysfunctional bunch. Yeah. I'm telling you, these they were all on drugs. First of all, there's Dopey, right, mm. in that green skirt. You know, obviously right. a stoner. Looks like he just came from a fish concert. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sleepy, heroin. Yeah. Sneezy, cocaine. Ooh. Happy, Prozac. Oh. Doc. He's the Walter White. He's the guy that makes the shit. He's the cook. Bashful. He's got a drinking problem. Let's not talk about it. Oh. <laughs> then there's... Uh, Grumpy? Hey, you'd be grumpy too if you were in rehab. Be cool. Huh. Come on. Be cool. And then there's Snow White, which I think we all know <laughs> on these big streets is just street terminology for coke whore. Uh, yeah. That's right. We know that shit. So, um, wow. I love the superhero movies. You guys like the superhero movies? Yeah. Excited about those. Uh, uh, I don't know if you saw this a few years ago, Green Lantern was announced as DC Comics' first gay superhero. Which surprised me too, because I thought all DC superheroes were gay. <laughs> Batman and Robin, 
Martian Manhunter? Yeah. Shazam! <laughs> we all know what Green Lantern, I mean, uh, Superman's weakness is, right? Green Kryptonite, right? Do you know what Green Lantern's weakness is? Superman! Oh! I'm just playing. Ryan Reynolds. Uh, uh, Spider Man. I'm pretty sure, so I'm excited Spider Man's coming out. Spider Man was a stellar. I mean, look at it. Peter Parker. Yeah. Still lived at home. Still lives at home, right? He's in love with Mary Jane. And he spends most of his time just hanging around. That's a stoner. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they're making a Wonder Woman movie. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, Wonder Woman's got some great powers. I mean, she's got the bracelets, they'll stop a bullet. That's cool. She's got the lasso that'll make a man tell the truth. Very cool. She has an invisible jet. How she finds that shit, I don't know. But, she does. <laughs> but that's not her number one superpower. Wonder Woman's number one superpower is that bitch can get dressed in seconds. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Faster than I just did, because I almost tripped. <laughs> What woman doesn't want to be that and what man doesn't want that in a woman? Come on. Yes! Oh my gosh. Uh, you guys rock and roll fans? Yeah! Uh, there's, uh, there's some tough times in rock and roll. I don't know if you saw this. 50 Cent is bankrupt. Yeah. Again. Rock and roll. Yeah. And then, uh, no, but here's the rock and roll. Nickelback. The band oh, Nickelback. Shit. They're so broke they had to cancel their whole tour. I say that 50 Cent and Nickelback tour together. Mm. It's free to get in, but it costs you 45 cents if you want to leave. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's brilliant. I like Nickelback. I think the apocalypse is upon <laughs> us. The first sign of that is uh, Axl Rose singing for ACDC. That was kind of scary. <laughs> do, you, do you see that? Axel had to sing for ACDC there because Brian Johnson, the lead singer, had to step down yeah. because he had hearing damage. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Turns out when those rock stars were saying, I can't hear you, they really couldn't hear <laughs> <find> you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I love the tribute uh -huh. bands. You guys like the tribute bands? Uh, yeah. yeah. Tribute bands are cool. Um, I like the uh, all-girl uh, tribute bands to the all-male bands. Like the Iron Maidens or the AC Yeah. Les Zeppelin. Les Zeppelin. Those are awesome. <laughs> Those things are cool. You know what I'm going to do that no one's ever done? An all male tribute to the Go Go's. Mm. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be called the Cum Cums. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about doing an all male tribute to the Bangles, that group's going to be called the Bangles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just a couple more things. Um, so, you guys are rock fans, I take it? You, yeah. you know what I hate is when I go to a concert and the sponsor doesn't have shit to do with the artist, right? Pepsi presents the Rolling Stones. Like, there's no connection there. I want a sponsor that's really representing that artist, right? The Fabulous Forum announces its summer concert series. Lipton presents Iced Tea. <laughs> Bird's Eye Frozen Vegetables welcomes Black Eyed Peas yeah. with special guest corn. Yeah. TGI Fridays welcomes The Weeknd. Yeah. Brilliant. The Learning Annex brings you Slightly Stupid. Yeah. McDonald's welcomes Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Playboy Magazine brings you Bare Naked Ladies. Yeah. Zigzag Rolling Papers brings you The Doobie Brothers. Yeah. Lens Crafters welcomes Stevie Wonder. Oh. Yeah. We love you, Stevie. Clorox brings you Stained. <laughs> Chapstick welcomes The here. Flaming Lips. <laughs> EPT at home pregnancy welcomes no doubt. Oh. <laughs> Bank of America brings you Eddie Money. Yeah. With special guest 50 Cent. <laughs> and a tribute to Johnny Cash. Oh. Trojan condoms welcomes Pearl Jam. Oh. <laughs> And Viagra welcomes Limp Biscuit. Oh! 
You guys are fun. You guys had fun tonight? Yeah. Woo! And this is the, we're coming to the crescendo here. There's something I like to do that I can only do in Los Angeles, and it's not the Ronnie James Dio thing, but the, but get this, you guys, check this out. We love you, Ronnie James Dio. But you yeah. know what's so wonderful? Who doesn't love you guys? Love Ronnie James Dio. Yeah. Yeah. Are we really Dio fans? We here? really love Dio. For one thing, who loves Ozzy Osbourne too, right? Yeah. You guys love Ozzy? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? We never got to see. Remember when Billy Joel and. Uh, Mm. And Elton John did that tour. Yeah. They, they, they did each other's songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never got to see Black Sabbath do that. <laughs> I wanted to see that. For the first time ever, on the same stage, the two lead singers of Black Sabbath, <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Generals gathered in their masses. <laughs> Ronnie James Dio. Look out! The sky is falling down. Doing each other's songs. <laughs> Crazier, but that's how it goes. Ronnie James Dio doing Ozzy and Ozzy doing Dio. <laughs> Just a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> Just a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> For the first time ever, the two lead singers of Black Sabbath on the same stage. They'll even do the Ian Gillen stuff. <laughs> What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, brother? Zero the hero! Black Sabbath for the first time ever. There you go. Yeah! Just yeah. two more quick things. One of the things I wanted to tell you guys is I know LA, and I know LA loves System of a Down. Do you not love System of a Down here? Yeah. We love our System of a Down. And we love System of a Down because not everywhere else in the country is, are there a million Armenians. Right. Okay, I grew up in, in the Glendale Burbank area. I know. So, System of a Down is so influential to Armenian culture. One day there's going to be an Armenian nightclub singer who does strictly System of a Down. Hello, my friends. I am Armen Artukian, the Armenian crooner. I am here to do the songs of system for you. My cock is much bigger than yours. My cock can walk right through the door. With the feeling so pure, it's got you screaming back for cool. In denial, with the cool regulated smoking cigars, cigars. In denial, that's right. Please, my friends, try the baklava. Very delicious. <laughs> My sister made this. Very good. Very good. Uh, yes, you love this system. I love this system. This is one song I love very much. And I felt like the biggest asshole. Felt like the biggest asshole. Yeah. When I killed your rock and roll. More down, you sexy people. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please visit the dispensary across the street. That's my brother's dispensary. Very nice place. I just want to say to you great people, wake up! Once you put on a little makeup, you put your hands up on the table. You wanted to. I don't think you trust the water back there. It's not very good. Don't drink it. Not safe to drink. Is what I'm saying. And I, I just want to, I just want to say to you guys, everybody, everybody, everybody live now. Everybody, 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 everybody live now. Everybody, everybody, everybody fucks. Everybody, everybody, everybody live now. Everybody, everybody, everybody cries. Everybody, everybody, everybody live now. Everybody, everybody dies. It's a non-stop disco bitch. It's the disco bitch. You know. It's a non-stop disco bitch, it's a disco bitch, you didn't know. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. It's a non-stop disco bitch, you didn't know, but you didn't know. Non-stop disco bitch, you didn't know, but you didn't know, but you didn't know. Please come to Glendale. Yeah. Uh, I have a car dealership there. <laughs> Very nice. Search Tanky and we'll be there. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. That yeah. wasn't my... So that, that was not going to be my closer, but no. you guys are awesome, so... Yeah. One more, one more thing that is going to be my closing, because I'm going to redeem myself. Oh, okay. Last night, 
I not only was very high, but for the first time right. ever on stage doing impressions, I had like a like mental meltdown. <laughs> like about five different like personalities like clashed in my brain and it happened on stage and it was very weird to watch. So, <laughs> do it again. So I must redeem myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it right. Oh, oh we so, like the... Hollywood is running out of ideas, right? Yeah. Proof of that shit is they make fucking Lego movies. <laughs> yeah, they make Lego movies. And the crazy thing is, when they get done making all the shitty Lego movies, they're gonna make the 